What's good, YouTube Nation? It's your boy, the Otaku Gamer 316. If you saw the thumbnail, then you already know what's up. I'm going to be opening up this Mitsubi figure that I got from my local box lunch. I'm also going to be opening up another Your Forger figure that's going to be in a separate video out by itself. But like I said, if you saw the thumbnail, you already know which figure I'm going to open up. This is an amazing figure. I picked both of these up from my local box lunch here in the Galleria. I do love going there. I'm probably going to bring back vlogs whenever I can because I notice I have so much fun trolling the gallery and it's just so much fun getting like boba tea and all that. But like I said, I'm going to open up this Mitsuri Demon Slayer figure and it's a very adorable figure. This one and the Your figure. And if you guys already seen the other figure openings, you already know what's up basically. Um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Click the thumbs up button, uh, like the video, comment, share, and help them. My YouTube algorithm, it does help out a lot. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up this figures, shall we? Now, we got the figure here, and it is an amazing, and I do got my little opening tool. Remember, kids, don't play with knives. And the figure art, the art on this box is very amazing. It is by Ban Presto, so it's going to be a very good figure to say the least and the little art on the box is amazing and basically i don't read japanese but you got that right there and it, it's a it's a good figure overall i've seen some reviews on this one going into this box opening but i don't know too much basically and like i said i do like the box art so we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and crack this open Can I, okay no way i think i need to open up the slides i'm not i think i oh wait did i no i think it's the slide uh, there we go did I hear something? I don't know. I might have already opened this. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think I did. I'm going to pick this up. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Go ahead and get this out of its prison. Okay, now we have to do something. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I'm a genius. I found it. Remember, moral of the story. Don't play with knives, kid. Do not play with sharp objects. We got all of this right here basically there's a tape we're just gonna go ahead and move that to the side we got all of this right here we got the stand of course her head thankfully i hate it when these figures come headless but it is a beautiful figure to say the least we got the we got the sword right here the stand basically what she's gonna stand on basically and then of course her head so let's go ahead and get to this Shall we? We don't want to make this video too terribly long. Oh, as a figure collector, this is just so much of a pain. We got this. Get our head out of the packaging. Okay, we got the head. Oh, this is gonna be difficult to be honest. Okay, I do not want to mess this up right here. Gonna go ahead and get to that. Get the head out of the package hopefully we can just there we go we got the head let's pop the head on oh this is gonna be difficult isn't it i feel like i'm gonna have to do this off camera oh wait no no nope i got it i am a genius handling figures is just so terrifying in my opinion because it's just kind of scary what else do we got uh, i'm gonna Gonna set this cardboard right here. Gonna set her to the side. We got her sword. Because she has a sword. Oh, yeah. This is just immensely, I wouldn't say terrifying, but it's more stressful to say the least. <sighs> of course, this thing has tape. Oh, I do not want to damage this. Uh, how do I do this? Well, this, is good. this is terrifying. I do not. Oh, this just is terrifying. I'm probably gonna have to do this off camera. How do I free the sword? Oh, this is painful to do. Okay, hold on. Hopefully I don't break the sword. I'm trying not to break the sword. There we go. Get the sword out. Put a little sword. This is so difficult. I'm not trying to make this video too terribly long, but it's not helping my case. So we got her. We put the sword, I think. We put it right here. I think. Oh! No, I'm probably gonna have to like. Where do I put it? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at the box. Oh, I think I'm doing it wrong. Okay. Um. 
goes in like this, I think. No? Okay. I don't know how to do this. Let me just get her stand out, cause that's gonna take a while. And I still have to edit the beer. Oh, I think I almost snipped myself. I think I almost snipped myself. That's a good thing. I'm, thankfully, I didn't. So that's a good thing. So we got her stand right here. This is an amazing stand to say the least. Just put her down on her peg and there we go. Me? Okay, no, this she is not staying on her stand. Oh, this is not going as I expected. Oh, wait. Okay. I figured it out. I am a genius. I had to pop her head off to do this. Because her sword goes diagonal, I think. Hold on, let me check the box. Kind of like this. So, yeah, okay. I hate deheading these figures, but it does not look like it wants to go. This does not want to go in. How do I do this? What do I do? That. Like this? It's supposed to go in like... Oh, okay, there we go. I think I got it. Okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. I'm trying not to break this. Let me do this off camera. Because this is not working. Okay, wait. I got it. I got it. Slowly, but surely. Let me go ahead and finish. And this. This is terrifying, to say the least. I'm not going to lie. I think I got it. There we go. Let's go ahead and put her head back on because... Without a head, it's kind of terrifying. I don't like when the figures come without a head. It's To me, it's truly terrifying. There we go. We got her head on, and we got her on her stand. And needless to say, this figure, in my opinion, is a good figure. Because I do like this girl from the anime she's from, and she is amazing, in my, to say the least. The details on this figure for the price I paid is absolutely amazing. It's just... So much detail, so much hard work. It just it just feels good to put her where she I'm gonna put her. It's just amazing. I'm just probably gonna put her to the side. And honestly, she just does look good to say the least. Just go ahead and zoom in right here. Hopefully we got that. And like I said, out of the box, she just looks absolutely amazing. This is without a doubt a good figure. I love it with all my heart. Becoming a figure collector is not going to be an easy thing to do, but just looking at this figure, there's just so much detail, and I just love it. Taking her out of her packaging was a bit of a nightmare, but outside of taking her out, out of her packaging, the details on this figure are just absolutely stunning to say the least. Oh, God, I almost dropped her. I'm not trying to drop her. But yeah, just amazing detail to say the least, in my opinion, is just absolutely good to see so much detail on a figure that I paid for you know what I'm saying this is an amazing figure so I'm just gonna go ahead and set her to the side right here and go ahead and zoom back out so yeah this is the figure out of the box a oh, perfectly amazing you can probably see a little bit of the other figures if you already see the stand you already know what that is um this is an amazing figure. If you do, like I said earlier, if you like this video and you want to see more figure openings with this one and the Yor and more figure openings in the future, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. Uh, like the video. Subscribe. Click the bell icon so that way y'all never miss an upload. I forgot to say that. So click that little bell notification so y'all never miss an upload. And um, I will guys will check y'all guys in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the B-roll. With that being said, peace.